So what is midbrain activation? See, we have a left brain and we have a right brain. Between the two brains, there's something called the midbrain. When the child is born, the midbrain is act already active and till the age of five, it remains active, becomes inactive. So midbrain has got huge powers. So what is the function of a midbrain? Midbrain controls the supersensory perception and the five senses. For example, when you talk about the breathing, all the automatic things that is happening, you know, uh, you know, the midbrain also controls the five senses. And all the information that comes to us is through the five senses. So if the midbrain becomes uh, active, the five senses become super powerful. And therefore, the more the information is able to travel to us. Since more information is able to travel to us, we are in a better position to use that information to a benefit. Right? Second thing what midbrain does is it, it balances your left brain and the right brain. So when the left and right brains are balanced, so what will happen? So if at all we are able to use both the brain and both the brain are able to support each other in a common task, then the outputs and efficiency and productivity of the brain are completely different. So this is the purpose of activating a midbrain. So once the midbrain is activated, uh, and this can be done for five years to about uh, any age group, you know, but generally for five to 17 years, these kids also develop a magical power. So how do we activate the midbrain? The midbrain is activated through a music therapy, a very special binaural uh, frequency of music. Once the child is sleeping during that point of time, when it enters the brain, it stimulates the neuron and creates a neuron pathway, a new neuron pathway, right? Now, the science came from Japan. There's a Dr. Makoto Sichida, who researched on brain for almost about 40 years and came up with a very special frequency of music, which has an ability to activate the midbrain. The only objective that we have to achieve is to use the music while the person comes in trance. Now, trance is like a uh, you know deep meditative state. So we'll have to bring the person in trance. Now, the children are very active and they have a lot of energy. So what we have to do is we have to consume their physical and mental energy so that they now start feeling sleepy. So first we make them physically and mentally tired by various engaging them into the various games and other activities like dance, yoga, games, meditation, and a lot of stuff. Then after once they're physically and mentally tired, once they have food, definitely, you know, after the lunch, you feel little, um, you feel like sleeping. So that's the time where, where they either sleep or relax. During that point of time, this binaural music is being played and this activates the midbrain. On the day two itself, these kids are able to demonstrate the uh, blindfold ability, which means being blindfold, they can recognize color, picture, they can read storybooks, all that stuff can happen. Yes, it is sun, very good. Yes, it is cake. Yes, it is white. Let me tie a Apart from that, uh, you know, they can also do the telepathy. For example, if two kids are sitting back to back and uh, both are being blindfolded. And if you give a color to this kid, kid A, and uh, ask him to think of that color, not to speak at all, the other kid, kid who is sitting back to back uh, would be asked to connect with the kid A. And this child will connect with the kid A and will tell the color that this child is holding. And similarly, it happens with the picture also. One child is thinking of a picture of a lion. The other child will tell, both being blindfolded, the other child will, will, will tell which picture it is. I'll, I'll just uh, show you certain, I'll just show you certain uh, demos right now for different things, right? Uh, people can walk blindfolded. When I'm playing, concentrate and tell Concentrate, karo, connect with his brain. Se. Yeah? Green, so? Yes, very good. Good job.
the people can solve the rubik cubes blindfold being blindfolded you know so there's so much which can be done now ideas people do ask me ki what is the fun of uh, being blindfolded when we can see the things with the open eye it's only the testimonial evidence that your child's midbrain has been activated period nothing more than that ultimately the midbrain is activated and within the 3 months time child's uh, memory concentration focus you know creativity emotional stability all this will go to a completely different level and you would find the level of the child's natural capacity to acquire knowledge would enhance so he can read through the other senses you would have seen that the people who are blind their other senses have become super powerful because god has given us this ability that if at all your one sense stops working the other senses are able to take up the work of that particular sense isn't that amazing so now we have that power to you know activate a midbrain power to learn faster and once the midbrain is activated it is activated for life you do not have to activate the midbrain again so for every person on this earth it's really good idea to activate the midbrain at least once in a lifetime right so this is this is that great workshop that you can do it uh, so is it a proven con- concept yes it is a proven concept you know the people who have been doing it doing it very effectively i have been personally into this domain and i've been doing it for almost about 6 years now and as i said i've trained 1500 plus kids and 220 plus kids has been the doctors kids let me show you certain pictures of uh, the workshops that we used to conduct uh, these are certain pictures at a different places that we conducted the workshop this is a parenting workshop post you know like the second day uh, we call the parents and during that point of time their own children demonstrate the blindfold ability and at the same time they also demonstrate uh, the memory techniques they have learned and all the stuff right 